Yeah, I want to show you this Y pipe. Um, I actually put it in that big um, trash barrel. Um, put a gallon of vinegar in it, filled it up maybe, I don't know, 15% of the way. Probably the mixture was one gallon of vinegar to probably 10 gallons of water. Let it sit in there overnight. This, actually I doused this down with some vinegar too, up here, but this was like really rusty. It's not structurally bad, but it's rusty on the outside. The reason I'm doing this is because I can't find this Y pipe anywhere, even under OEM parts or the El Camino store. <laughs> I mean, it's not available. It's from the 78. They got the stuff from the older cars from like the 77 or 72 on down, from the 70s down, the mid 70s down. 78 to 86 or 87 I didn't see any kind of stock exhaust system for it so I bought this back in the 90s and it's still good it's very solid and if you know if I ever have to replace something I'm gonna wind up having to put um, like a dual exhaust and uh, complete the whole the whole system plus a dual hump transmission cross member which is a couple hundred bucks besides so what I got coming is Pour 15 high heat header paint, you know, paint over rust, high heat header paint, and it cures at about 400 degrees. Um, I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this side of this. This is actually the main part that's really the bad where you were gonna watch out for because, um, and also in here. Um, but this joint, man, you gotta watch this. This joint, if that rusts out, eh, you ain't gonna really get welded, you know. Um, so that was just overnight and um, really cleaned it up really good. As a matter of fact, we go over it with the uh, uh, the wire brush with the paint, uh, excuse me, not the, the wire brush with the drill. It's going to do the rest of it. So for now, we're going to go down here and uh, see, I was actually using that. We're going to do the other side of it right here now. And uh, put that little bit on a tilt so it gets in there, put the lid on it so it don't dry out so quick. And I uh, let it sit. So, <laughs> shit works, man. I see a big trash, trash can, you could freaking do some big parts with that freaking, uh, you know, it's a long leaf can with the wheels on it. You could do some big parts with the vinegar. That was probably like one gallon of vinegar, 10 parts of water. So two dollars and something, whatever the hell it was. Wait a minute, no, wait a minute. I put two gallons in here, excuse me. So maybe it was 20% vinegar uh, solution from that would vinegar solution itself. It's plain white vinegar. I know the vinegar solution itself is not 100%. You know, it's got water in it, but you know what I mean. I'm saying two gallons of vinegar. That's what it was. Two gallons of vinegar, about 10 gallons of water. So here's Gold Digger Cat. Still ain't seen freaking boots. Man, I've been checking my security camera. If he ever shows up, he's getting a whole pile of purple C60. But anyway, once I get that exhaust system fixed up and coated with the Pour 15, um, and it's it's uh, baked on there, um, it'll probably last for decades. <laughs> That's what you want. Never have to change it again, so I'm going to do it right. And that's the new catalytic converter I put in here. By the way, if you have a heat shield, the heat shield faces up towards the floor. If you only have one heat shield. Um, I had to pull this manifold off because uh, uh, one of the studs was broken. And I just changed both the studs. So that should be good. I might soak this thing in the vinegar. And put it in the oven at 400 degrees and bake it. Probably do the other side too. So it looked nice and pretty. You know what I mean? So, you know, what it'll be silver aluminum with that poor 15. I'll show you what the hell that is. Pretty good stuff. So, and what I'm going to wind up doing with this exhaust system, as I see any little rust, I'm going to go over it with um, some of the poor 15 high heat. And um, just like a rag or something like that. And just, you know, touch it up. Because um, it could rust from the inside, but usually it rusts more from the outside. And um, like I said, you can't find freaking exhaust system parts for this damn thing too easy anymore and uh, also being uh, I broke loose the freaking uh, caliber bleeding screws on here 
um, changing the master cylinder on this thing. So it's got a lot of new parts on it actually. So let's get some belts, hoses, probably a timing chain and fuel pump and stuff. And maybe, I don't know, maybe an Edelbrock carburetor, I'm not sure. But, um, you know, it's a good old car, man. 78 El Camino. So, freaking been going for a long time. But uh, little tricks like this make a big difference. You know, putting that poor 15 high heat paint on this freaking exhaust system. Um, you know, unless you want to go with stainless steel, which will run you about 1200 bucks. And if you go with stainless steel headers, probably another $1,000. But you know, for that kind of money, I can get a, for less than that kind of money, I can get a M22 Rock Crusher transmission built stronger than the original freaking one from the factory, which never even came with this car instead of fucking around with exhaust system. I just figure as long as it don't leak up fumes into the freaking uh, uh, passenger compartment when you're uh, driving it in the wintertime, getting it fixed gated, you know, that's all I'm looking forward to do, man. <laughs> care too much about the performance shit but I would like to have the transmission in the rear end super 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 strong because uh, you know the engine's actually the last thing you fucking do you know excuse me but you know what I mean and uh, I got the bypass for this thing actually it was a three hole bypass it's not the right one I don't even know where the hell they, they have two hole um, heat riser things this one was a three hole, uh, two hole, uh, they're three holes, usually what they are. That's what I always saw Chevy's are. And, uh, what I did was I had to grind this down here. So the bolt's gonna go right, right over here, and the bolt, the other bolt's gonna go right there. Got the gasket for it, and the, oh, and the, uh, the heat riser gasket, and also the freaking O-ring thing. Um, I actually even had a file that thing down smooth before I went ahead and put the studs in there because it the the spacer for the heat riser spacer wouldn't fit flat flush enough. So, that's bullshit. They would never do this in a freaking muffler shop man. Unless they would just change parts and it'd be costing thousands of dollars. So that's why you do your own work.